There are about 150 uh, adventure sports uh, companies that bring foreign travellers to this part of Pakistan. Uh, they were telling us, ironically, that this season, for the first time in 10 years, uh, bookings were up. It was looking promising. Uh, but, of course, in the last few hours, they've already been receiving cancellations from climbers who were due to come. Now, they've been expressing their, their grief, these tour operators, and their shock. They have always regarded this as perhaps the safest corner of Pakistan uh, for foreign tourists. This attack is absolutely unprecedented. There has been sectarian violence in the area in recent years, uh, attacks on Pakistan's minority Shiites, but certainly nothing like this targeting foreign visitors. And the tour operators are stressing that uh, this attack has claimed many victims, they say, not just the foreign climbers who tragically lost their lives, but also more than 200,000 local people uh, who they say are depending for their livelihood uh, on tourism. Now, Nanga Parma, Parbat, the mountain, the ninth highest peak in the world, which the climbers uh, were due to climb, uh, has been known in the past as the killer mountain uh, because of the difficulties and the dangers cli climbers have faced because of the numbers of climbers who have died there. But now, of course, tragically, that name has new meaning. And when it comes to the perpetrators of this attack, we're still a little unclear, perhaps, on who was behind it. That's right. There have been two claims of responsibility. The first came from a Sunni militant group called Jandullah, uh, which has carried out attacks on minority Shiites in the past. Uh, they claimed responsibility for a brutal attack in February uh, when 18 people were taken off a bus and shot by the side of the road. Uh, here at BBC News, we received a phone call uh, claiming the attack on the part of the Pakistan Taliban. They said it was retaliation for the recent killing of one of their senior commanders in a U.S. drone strike, and they said they would continue to target foreigners. What's very clear is this was a carefully planned attack in an extremely remote location. It takes at least 18 hours to get there by foot. Obviously, whoever went had to be prepared with supplies. They had to have some knowledge of the local area. We do know they kidnapped two local guides, forced them to take them to the exact location of this base camp, and one of those guides was killed. The other, we understand, uh, is now being questioned by the authorities who are trying to find out more details about exactly what happened.